It's the channel that you choose. We're coming back to YouTube. Make sure you turn on the notifications because they back on the shadow band. Always hating. Stay to the end so you can find out how you can win a free Xbox, PlayStation. Details are waiting. What does that think? That sound good? I'm going to roll with that one. So Honeycomb Brazy is in jail, but his family's still getting shot at. Intro, please. Then we're going to roll the clip. This shit getting wild. It's your favorite local, especially after I spoke. Support the real again. Get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How do you fight back? It's simple. All you got to do is just press subscribe and join the movement over there on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H. One word. That's where you and I can stay in contact. Plus, I'm going to personally follow you back. Like your pictures and all that. To the crew, that's the truth. What it up with the visionaries? A crime alert tonight, terrifying moments for people on Clark Street in Mobile as they wake up to gunfire in the middle of the night. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey obtained the surveillance footage there that captured the sound of those shots. Andrea, you've learned this shooting may be connected to Mobile rapper Honeycomb Brazy. Yeah, that's right. You may recall that homicide detectives are currently investigating the deaths of his grandparents that happened back in February. Now the rapper's mother believes that she was the target of last night's shooting. In this surveillance footage NBC 15 News obtained, you hear five shots fired on Clark Street at 2 in the morning. They came back. They keep shooting up your home. Mm-hmm, and I don't even live here. Because I had to leave because of that, but them fresh bullets. Tanisha Jones believes her home was the target. She wasn't home when the shots were fired, but had been at the home yesterday and believes people saw her there. They shot it up again. I can tell. I came here yesterday. And those weren't there yesterday? Not this glass, none of that. A family three doors down woke when two bullets came into their home overnight. They declined to talk on camera. Jones says this isn't the first time her home's been shot. And how many times do you think your home has been shot at? For sure, I know it's three, but now I know it's four times. Why do they keep targeting you? I don't Because they want my son, not Sean Jones, dead. Her son, Nashawn Jones, a local rapper, is also known as Honeycomb Brazy. He's currently in Metro Jail, accused of violating his probation. He was arrested back in 2016 on gun charges. In February, Nishan's grandparents, Tanisha's parents, were killed in a mysterious shooting and fire. Mobile police can't confirm the overnight shooting is in any way connected to any other investigation. <laughs> Tanisha's heart may be broken and her home riddled with bullets. She's living now only on the hope the shooting stopped before she loses another loved one. I'm kind of like shaky, I'm kind of like nervous, I'm kind of like upset, and I lost everything. Uh, other homes have been shot into this week. We're going to map that out for you where those occurred coming up tonight at 6 o'clock and ask Mobile Police if they think those shootings are connected. Reporting live in Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News. Man, look, bro. I don't, I don't give a fuck. He in jail. So I'm fairly certain, right? Street code alone. Street code alone. Cuz got a, at least an idea of who potentially may or may not be involved with this shit. So when it's streets, it's supposed to be with thine enemy. Now I'm not saying that I don't know because we did hear those lyrics from Honeycomb Brazy that was talking crazy about, you know, hitting people's parents and kids and all that and everything. Now, if you want to take this rap lyrics, take it as rap lyrics. If you want to take it as a definite indication of some type of crime then that's on you I, I can't convince you anything and i don't want to and you the type of people that i don't really had conversations with anyways you already have a made-up mind and i don't dwell and deal with people with made-up minds already but he's in jail his mama stayed here y'all know that thank god that she basically wasn't in the home now i think possibly what's happening is is that they shooting it up after she leave and stuff like that and everything let her know don't come back this is a message to your son while he in jail we could have killed your mama we got all eyes on her and stuff like that that's what i personally believe 
But if it's the other way around and they just happen to come through and spray the house up, we're all willy nilly and everything like that, bro. What what kind of shit is that? Who y'all big homies? What kind of big homies would sit there and let that shit fly? Bro, it's, it's, it's shit like this, man, where at times, bro, you just got to turn your back on people. You got to sit up here and, and, and let the police do whatever they're going to do. Whether they good or corrupted, because now y'all playing with different rules. Go to the street, say you shoot at me. I ain't rapping. When I shoot at you, do the same thing. I could never, I could I wouldn't care if one of the one of the enemies smoked my mama and my grandma. I could never do that to them. I would never. I don't know what Honeycomb Brazy's street life is, what his street credibility is, what he's done in the streets, and nothing like that. He said he wouldn't have did that, and I'm gonna have to take him at his word. But at the same thing, man, it's like, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. This shit is, is, is different because you're literally firing at defenseless ass people. And y'all got to remember, Honeycomb Brazy Mama ain't no street nigga, so she don't got to play by the rules. So <laughs> it's one of those times where it's like, all right, bro. All right. Okay. She right on y'all. Ha ha. Whoever your OGs is, man, it's sad, bro. It's sad. It's sad. Whoever's sanctioning this shit, it's sad. Because even if you're doing what I think that you're doing, where nobody in the house and you're shooting it up to let him know, hey, bro, it's still funky over here. When you get out, this is for your ass. When you get out, still. Still. Honeycomb Brazy. I'm fairly certain you got enough money, more than enough money, to get your family up out of there, man. Forcefully. I mean, like, hey, look. We got this, we got that, we got this, we got that. Stop staying over there. You seen what happened to, to Granny and Grandpa. You can't stay over there no more. And you might have to break down the truth. Your parents, your family, your mama, she might not know the truth. She might not know, you know, that you really in them streets like that. Potentially, allegedly, possibly. Or, hey, hire some security, bro. Why not? Let them come through while these cats got these guns on them and stuff like that. And while they sit up here and they follow that car and start letting off. Do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's rock that way. Because one thing for certain, two things for sure, it's going to stop one way or another. Either hell or jail. A hell of bullets or a hell of time in jail. Ain't no two ends about that one. You ain't got to worry about that. Nah, thug. No, 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 no. We host and hold it a little different around here. Believe me what I'm telling y'all. I haven't been wrong on none of this shit. Y'all want me to get to a level of telling y'all some shit about what's going to happen in L.A. to Baby Capone number three. I'm telling you what's going to happen. He's not going to die in these streets. His dumb ass going to end up in jail. Guarantee. He ain't going to get hit. Somebody might send some bullets his way, but I doubt it highly. It's way too hot out there. Way too hot. It's too much shit that I know personally. And I, I go back and forth with it with cats that, man, you know they're going to kill them. You know they're going to kill them. They're going to get to them. I'm like, bro, that's not going to happen. Y'all got to remember, the goal is to do the crime and not get caught. Anybody go around there that look a little suspicious, you ain't got to worry about no Inglewood families. You got to worry about the police. And they will get behind you and pull your ass over. And if you are a felon, and you with some other gang members and everything like that, that's enough for probable cause. That's a hell of a suspicion. 
and they will search your shit. And the police don't give a damn. The police want somebody to go and do that. The thing is, is that's a lot of people who think like me. Not like you cats who ain't from California. So everybody that's not from California and the little youngins under 25, that's exactly what's going to happen. Mark my words. And you ain't really going to hear about it unless some cat like, I don't know, somebody going to catch it. I'm not about to look it up and look at jailhouse records every single day and all that and everything. But I'm telling you what I know. Not some shit I heard. Guaranteed. These youngins or older cats or whomever it is, they either going to end up dead or in jail. Ain't no two hands about that. They now you the police not about to keep letting you do that. I don't care what they saying about mobile and everything like that. You still have to have some type of order. If not, then what the hell? Now, if I'm completely wrong and the police just let y'all willy nilly do whatever y'all want to do, then I'm like, goddamn, I won't even stay around there. I won't. I won't never come through mobile. You know, I've been through there a couple times since I said what I said. I just ain't stop and holler at nobody. That ain't my place. Y'all said y'all got it. I left y'all at that, bro. I'm not about to sacrifice myself for people who don't care. Because y'all got OGs who don't give a damn about these things happening on either side. Nah. Y'all expect me to keep it real because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street and Music, Seti Nash Music if you have not. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, why the hell not? Honestly. Oh, because you want to win that free xbox or you want to win the ps5 or whatever the hell you know the tickets to a concert or sport event or anything like that or we could give it to you in a gift card either way that goes this is how you win be an active subscriber like comment and share the videos the more that you do this the more you increase your chance to win it's that simple that fine that well May the best person win. We definitely keep a lookout. I have people who actually take tallies, take notes, and look at all this stuff. Because honestly, it's kind of hard for me just to do every goddamn thing, right? <laughs> but either way that go, man, make sure you comment and like. I mean, comment and like. Be an active subscriber and stuff like that. Because I can see all of this stuff. It's called YouTube Studios. I check y'all out on the next video. Also, we'll put the playlist in the comments if you just want the videos to stream down. Check out the next video. Check out the last video. Thank you.